Okay, in this video I am going to show how to take this hank of yarn and I'm going to wind it into a center pull cake. And I will show you how I do that. But first I wanted to show you this yarn. This is hand spun from my sheep Liam and it was dip dyed in Wilton's black icing food coloring. So these are the colors that it broke out into and it was really pretty. So the last video I did, I did breaking Wilton's Violet and that um, the yarn was different looking than this. It had a brighter purple and then it had a blue where this one has a green to it. So I'll show the difference and then I did make these really cool little slippers that I love to use for spinning wool and there I have sheep socks. And then I did put um, some deer hide pads on the bottom and then these buttons my son made for me from um, wood that he got from our land up north. And it's really cool because the wood has burl to it. So it's kind of cool. But I'll show you what I made. This is 100 grams right here and I had like an 80 gram ball too of the broken black and so I made myself this that my body double Roxy is modeling and it's just a scarf and the button is also handmade for my son you can see the burl in there that's ironwood from northern Wisconsin so that I made up with what little bit I had and then this one I sold this one I sold and she wants it wound into a cake and when you wind it into a cake it's really nice because then you have um, it's called a center pull cake so the yarn comes out really easily for if you want to crochet or knit with it but if you're not going to do something with it right away um, the professionals suggest to leave it twisted in this hank for long-term storage because um, the cakes can uh, stretch the fibers so but I'll wind it really loosely for her she lives in um, North Carolina so I'll show you how I do that I do it with this is called a yarn swift and then this right here is my ball winder so I'll show you how that's done Okay, so I'm just going to unwind this hank of yarn and it's like this. And I'm going to put it onto the yarn swift and expand it up so it fits kind of tightly. Then I'm going to snip these off and these just kind of hold that hank in place so it doesn't get messed up when you're washing it or dyeing it. So I'm going to take those off. And then I always mark one end, and it should be the outer edge. So then I mark that with a just a little piece of yellow yarn. So I know where the pole is. And I'm going to attach that to my ball winder. And now it's ready to go, so I'm going to kind of help feed it on. So this works really nice. So I'm not holding this with a lot of tension. If I had a lot of tension on there, the ball would be wound tighter, this cake of yarn, but I'm holding it kind of loose. And we're almost done. Oops. And there it is. And 
there's a center pull cake so I marked the end so she'll be able to just pull that out and it comes out without tangling and it's really nice and that's how you do it